Well, here I am again, putting on waders, going to a creek that I fished a month ago in November. But when I went to it in November, it was like 35 degrees and the average, and it had been like staying in the 30s for a while. It's a late December, and it's been staying in the 60s for over a week now, you know, every day getting up into the 60s. So I'm really hoping the fish is starting to pick up and uh, get a little more active. Last time I was here, I caught one little bass. And uh, in the summertime, I catch a lot of fish here, a lot of good bass here. I'm hoping I'll catch more than one at least this time. Oh, it's looking really nice. Water's clear. It's lower than it was last time I was here. I love coming to this area because it's, it's kind of not far from town, but it, it goes right through this farmland. It's a really beautiful area. Oh, there's one, there's one. There's a fish. Oh, it came off. That was a good fish. Finally, 45 minutes in, moving up through here. Finally got one, it was in this deep section right here. Pretty good largemouth look like. Man. A Ned rig or something would probably work great, but they get stuck so many times. There's so many rocks and ledges. It's really hard to work a bottom lure. So I'm gonna go back to a spinner, just a inline spinner. Not a huge one, but I'll take it. Oh, he's not bad. Not bad. All right, don't come off. Hold on, hold on there. Yes. Kept pushing on a little bit further. It's, I've been fishing for just over an hour now. And um, after I lost that one about 15 minutes ago, I was like, there's gotta be some more hitting. That is a chunky. I think that's a hybrid. I've been catching some out of this creek that are spotted bass and coosa bass mix. And I think that might be one because if that's a coosa bass, that's a giant coosa bass. It really looks like a coosa bass. All right, really good little bass there. Nice to catch, late December. Glad to see they gotten still active. And yeah, they've kind of gotten back active, I think. This little warm spell we've had. That's a, that's a pretty fish. Nice. Glad I went back to the spinner. You see it. Yeah, there's another fish, even though it's a little one. A little red breast. I've been getting a lot of follows from little fish. I might have to come back with a little spinner and uh, if it stays warm the next day or two, but getting a lot of uh, little fish falling up and nipping at it. All right, I'm going in for round two, back at the same creek it was yesterday. It's another warm day. The temperature's supposed to drop tomorrow. Uh, only thing I'm changing up is I'm going with a smaller spinner. It's uh, another Sussex, Sussex brand. It's got smaller hooks on it. Six pound line, medium uh, light pole. Hope that I catch more fish today. There's one. I saw this little fish hit at it three times. Came up, came up behind it, pecked at it. Came up behind it, pecked at it. Finally, you get a hook down there. Yeah, the fish have already been a little more active. A lot of littler fish moving around. And I thought I saw a bigger one swipe at it once, but I'm not sure. I may have just spooked off some other fish. That's the first little red breast today. Man, I'm glad this water's clear. I walked right up on a turtle right in front of me. I thought it was a rock. And I was looking like, that looks weird. Oh, there he goes. Little big old turtle.
Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. Yeah. Oh, nice red breast. It looks kind of dark here because it's, it's kind of really dingy. It's uh, really cloudy. Thought the fish would be hitting like crazy. They're, uh, they're active, more active than they were a while back, but not quite as active as prime summertime when they'll get. Oh, there's one. Another red breast. Man, nice color one. That's a good, pretty fish right there. All right, like I said, the, the creek is really clear today. It gets murky, but usually gets back pretty clear pretty quick. Oh yeah, that's where all the sunfish are. Another red breast, a little over there. That's I think my third one off this little bank right here. A little out of the, out of the kind of current in the calm, deeper area. There he is. I saw something following it. I kept seeing a wave behind it. Nice red breast. He's kind of palish looking. Oh, don't pee on me. Really nice fish. Nice little, nice red breast. Bunch of red breasts, they're definitely active. There he is. They uh, definitely aren't hitting really strong, but they are attacking. I can feel a little peck. Then a little, little peck afterwards, so the uh, lot, mostly red breast. I thought there's like no bluegill, and I thought to be more bass. Hold on, hold on. I got it. I think I got a little fish. Holy cow, I do got one. I felt a little bitty peck, and it was in the current. A little bitty bass, he wanted something to eat. Look at that guy. That's like a little bitty largemouth. I was hoping to find some little, uh, little larger than that, but you know what? Um, right now, I kind of got to take what I can get. Gotcha. This guy followed it for a while. Bluegill. Hey, I think it was my first bluegill. He was, uh, that's one of the things is definitely, definitely different fishing in creeks like this in the uh, wintertime compared to summertime. The summertime, I'm getting hits like boom, boom, boom. As soon as it hits the water and turns maybe, boom, they're right on it, they're hammering it. Well, as it, I've, everybody knows, but as it's gotten colder, they, uh, everything's just slower. Like today, all the hits is just, they've followed it, followed it, followed it, finally hit. You know, everything's just taking, taking slower, they're reacting slower, uh, just not hitting quite as aggressive. I'm glad to see there's a lot of fish still out and swimming around though. I just got back last week from fishing in Florida and fishing some in the uh, Everglades. You couldn't do fishing like this. Um, I was thinking about it. I was like, I loved uh, all the different fish I could catch, how active they stay all year round. There's lots of, you know, I love the peacock bass, Oscars, uh, cichlids, uh, all the different things. But I love doing this right here. I love just wading a creek, especially in the summertime. Wintertime, not so much, but today's a nice day. I'm in short sleeves. And uh, I, I love getting out in the water, wading it, just enjoying it. These nice, clear creeks, rocky bottoms. You can't, couldn't really do that down there, that's for sure. You, everything's bank fishing. You got alligators, you got snakes, uh, a lot of stuff like that. Whereas, so you, you, everywhere you go, you, you get something, you give up something. Some, you got, one place has got something better than the other place, but. Around here, we got so many different types of fish. This right here, this area is definitely a good area. Fishing so many different types of fish, so many different types of water you can you can get in, and and uh, I really like this kind of stuff. Oh, see that red breast? Oh, I got him! Oh no, he's off. Come back, come back. He followed all the way up to the water. I'm standing on about four foot of water right here. He had followed all the way up and hit it right at the top. Take it. There he goes. Got gotcha. you. Another bluegill. Hit it right. He kept hitting at it. Oh. Well, I guess. Oh, there we go. Well, I guess I'm gonna turn back. Starting to get 
dark and it's really cloudy so i got about a i only came about a half mile i got another half mile walk back down i may change lures and go back down through there well i guess i'll pitch around the helgramite on the way back and i'm just going to put it on a one uh, i think it's a 1 20th ounce jig head something pretty light where it'll uh, kind of just sink slow i got I only got my medium light action rod anyways so i can pitch it around pretty easy Oh, oh, got one. Oh, decent fish. Yeah, it's a decent fish. Get over here. Nice. The Helgramite got me one. I kind of had a feeling it might, but I just really wasn't sure the way they've been acting. But I figured I'd cast it around the same areas I just came through. And uh, something a little bit slower. This, with that 120th ounce jig head, it sinks real slow. And this thing uh, floats anyways, so it kind of sinks in slower. Gives it more time for these little guys to hit. That's a pretty fish. Little uh, spotted bass there, looks like. Nice little fish, chunky little guy. another one man i don't even know when they're on there they everything is so soft it's getting a little dark you might not be able to see this one very well this is a kusa bass here nice it's a decent kusa bass too Let's see if you can see that that's yeah that's a pretty kusa bass right there yep there's my second one on the helgramite might have to try that more often just working it really slow and just kind of twitching it but yeah, both the fish that they've bitten, I like barely knew they were on there. There's one, there's one. Good. That's uh, about the same size, I think. He was in a, a little ledge. I know that these ledges are here and I've fished them so many times that they, uh, I know that the fish hang out like down in these little rock ledges. Um, and that's where I catch them usually, but usually they're attacking. Like I said today, everything's definitely slower. But uh, it's nice to be able to catch. This is this has been a really good uh, day of fishing for sure for the winter time in here. All right, I just got back from fishing out the creek. This video wraps up about uh, it wraps up two days of fishing the same about half mile stretch of the creek waiting in it, and so probably four four and a half hours of fishing. The first time I was using bigger lures, second time I kind of went smaller, and then at the end I used a Helgramite, threw it around, and I think catching three bass off of it, coming back down. I like experimenting and trying out this, these kind of fishes, because not, not a lot of people do this type of fishing in the wintertime, or at least talk about it. You can, you can go research like bass fishing in the winter, or this kind of fishing in the winter, but a lot of people do a lot of the fishing, small creeks to small rivers, and um, as they get affected really quickly by the cold, it seems like, and by the warm. So when it gets cold, it drops really fast, fish shut down, and it warms up, it can warm back up pretty quick. Fish were pretty active for in the winter, definitely for sure. Like I said, the weather here has definitely been um, non-typical. It's been in, up into the 60s for like a week now, so I got a lot of the fish going. I think when it drops back down, like it's probably going to later on this week, the fish are gonna really slow back down. And one thing I've definitely noticed uh, for sure is that fish are in there, but they don't hit at the same places. Most of the time in the summer, I'm gonna catch fish in the current the spotted bass like being in the current, the kusa bass, largemouth, some of the aggressive fish, they're gonna be in the current. Well, now there's like nothing in the current. Everything's over in the slack water and everything I call it, kind of, I'm, everything has to be slow. If I reel too fast, they're not gonna hit it or they may follow it and turn away. If I reel slow, I'm gonna get more hits on that. Just trying to use different lures, just trying to figure out what's working. Um, just trying to mess around with that. It's definitely not as productive as if I went, that's why I've been doing a lot of trout fishing because the trout get stirred up in the, Winter time, they're more active, where a lot of the bass and sunfish and stuff, they, they slow down a lot. Well, thanks for watching. It was a great little time fishing. I caught actually more fish than I thought. I really wish I'd landed that bass. It was, it was at least a two pound plus largemouth that I, like the first bass that I lost. Um, that would have been a really good catch. Um, I'm sure they're still out there moving, but I have to fish a lot and a lot. Maybe I'll hit it up a few more times and try to go get some more big ones.